Are you having trouble finding your images from your hard drives? They might be all over the place. But I have a solution. Exire Photo 2024 might be the answer for your problems, like it is for my problem too. Hi, it's Peter here. And we have to start with the disclaimer, and I'm sorry that I have to say this every time I review something, but it is required by the law, and YouTube also requires for me to say the disclaimer. But it's so much easier if I didn't have to do it, but also it's, it's uh, being open and telling you what this is all about. Exire provided me the software and the license key, so I, have, I can use the software and it's mine. I also had a Zoom call with them where they explained all the new features and stuff that's new in under the hood. And it was interesting to talk to the makers of Exire Photo and Exire Search too. But they did not tell me to do this video, nor have they seen it before, and they have not influenced any about the content. Everything that I say is my own opinion based on using the software for a little while. But let's get started with the real stuff. Uh, Exire Photo 2024 was just launched the 27th of September 2023 and it has some interesting new features. Now let's first look at those features or I will tell what they are and then I will look into what I think are the most interesting features, new features. And the one thing is of course it's a search engine in a way that it searches your images and then you know, make a search and it, it will find the images for you. And the new search is based on a new AI, so it should be 10 times more accurate. That's hard to, of course, say if it is 10 times or how many times it's better, but it seems to be slightly better than the previous version. And then it has this new interesting prompt search, which I will talk a little bit more later on this video. I think that's one of the most interesting parts of the new software. And then it has GPS based search, so you can search your images by the location. And you can also add to the location that image if it doesn't have the GPS information from the metadata. And then another interesting uh, thing is uh, sorting the images by aesthetics score. And I will talk about that later also. But in short, it is a way to search your images by how good they are. And there is some interesting things that I will discuss about that and what I think about that because mm, it is a bit, I don't know what the word is, but interesting anyways. And then Exire Analytics is also included. I might make a video about that later, but I'm not gonna address that. But it is a way to look which cameras was used and what lens was used and what focal length was used. Uh, the same way you can do it in Lightroom. But on this one, it has some you know, visuals too, so it might be more interesting to check out. And as I said, the most interesting new things is the text prompt search and the aesthetics, which I will discuss in a moment. And before we get into that, reminder that Exire has two versions of the software. This is based on Photo, which is the standalone version, and then there is the Exire Search, which is a Lightroom plugin, and that has not been updated to 2024 version yet, or actually I don't know if they will. Most likely they will, but there is no information about the schedule. The first time you start the software, it will initialize your images and make the catalog, and this might take a little while, it depends on how many images you have. I tested it with 6500 images, and it took me about 7 minutes. Okay, I do have a very powerful uh, new computer. It has the M2 Ultra Apple chip, so it works really fast. And when it's done, you're good to go. It's quite simple. The UI is also quite simple. You have the folders from your computer on the left, and the search options are on the top right. On the right, you can also find the keywords it has made from the content of your images. There are several ways of making the search. There is the text prompt, GPS-based search, keywords, and finding faces. They're all very good ways of finding the images. And when it initializes, it makes the keywords so that you can click the keyword and see what's inside that particular keyword. The search results are good enough, as I said already, and it can find you the most, uh, most of the images. Of course, there are some mistakes, as you will see, but I don't think it's a, a thing that 
matters that much because it can find the ones that you need most likely. If there are some images that do not match, no problem because there aren't that many. And let's start with the text prompt search. You click here and then this window opens. You can adjust the settings. I have chosen only to search for the current view. You can also choose how many images it will search. It goes from 10 to 50,000. So most likely it will be enough. I have it on 100 for this particular search. Let's try the search with no people. The results is imperfect, but it's good enough to pick the images I need. And I know what the images are in this catalog. So it did a pretty good job. Even though, as you see, there are some images with people in the streets. Let's test the next prompt, red on the wall. And as I said, I know the images and it did find from this particular set of images, all of them except one, which I think it's a fairly good result. And then we can sort them by aesthetics. Uh, Excited Photo 2024 has been trained to know which images are good, which images are beautiful, which has a good aesthetics. And if you look at the results that I got from my images on Athens, it likes good light and good composition. Okay, good composition that could be argued. But anyways, this was the results. And yes, I could agree that. But um, to be honest, there are some concerns about this. Then I will discuss that in a moment. The way it does, it scores the images and it gives it's a score from zero to 100. The better looking the image is what Exire thinks it gives 100. And then if it's not any good, it's zero. And the whole system is based on AI and it has been crawling through some images from different photo competitions. And based on that, it will give the score. And it is, like I said, a bit odd thing. And now I'm going to tell you what I think about it. It only looks at the surface of the image. So kind of like the, the front, what it looks like, but it doesn't not, uh, say anything about the story, the, the, the purpose of the image, the context of the image. And that's why it is a bit problematic. If I show you this, these are images that I took when I was testing Fuji X10 here in Helsinki. The image that I liked the most got the least amount of score. It got only 20. It did think that is a bad image. And that's kind of a uh, problematic thing in that sense that it only looks at the surface of the image. And, and like I said, it does not look at the story or anything like that. And that is the thing that's uh, or, or why I do not really like this because it's a it tends to like the cliches and of course, yeah, good light. That's that's one point. And and, and composition is, is another thing that it it likes those. But usually those images are the ones that are really boring. They are kind of like the, the cliches of photography. Images that has something slightly wrong are usually a lot more interesting. And that this does not detect. And that is the problem with this type of things. I do ha say that it is really interesting to see, and you might find your best images this way. You know, the, the images that are uh, most pleasing in, for the general public. And yeah, it's a good way of uh, checking your images. And it's an interesting tool, but to be honest, not really for serious use. And then what about the price? Before we get into that, there are affiliate links in the description. So if you want to get the software, if you use those, you don't pay any extra. I do get a small commission. So it's a win-win situation. You get a good piece of software and I do get a small commission. So you support my free content. The price is 189 euros slash dollars. At the moment when this video is published, there is a introductory price that is um, 149 uh, euros slash dollars. And with this code, you get 15% off. So you might want to use that code if you're interested. And if you already have the older version, the upgrade price is 59. Unfortunately, the code I show does not work on that particular price. It's, you know, kept low. So they don't want to give you any more discount, which I understand completely. And there's also a trial version if you want to test the software to your images and see if it's something for you. So you don't have to pay it. Just test it for 14 days before you decide to buy it or not. And there's also the older version, 2022 version available for 119 euros slash dollars. And I do have some videos about that version too. So you might want to take a look at that. There are some more things and especially about the plugin version, some, some more information that might be useful for you. But hey, thanks for watching and bye for now.